welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be an update for the project pan that I created and this is the Fall For You project pan. It is a collab and at this point I think there's over 85 people actually in the collab, which is unbelievable. I never thought that anything that I created would ever be this big and it has been and I want to thank everyone who is coming along on this project pan with me. It's so much fun being able to pan products that you really enjoy and love. If you're not taking part in this project pan or this is the first time you're hearing of it and you actually decide that you do want to take part, it is still running. It will run until the 15th of November and you can join in for the next couple of months if you really want to. So just let me know so that I can follow along with you and I can add you to the master list which will be linked down below for those who are interested and I will add you to the playlist as well which is also linked down below. So I have actually reached goal on something already which is crazy and I know a bunch of the rest of the ladies also have hit goal on something as well in their first update which is incredible it just goes to show that when you have a passion for something and you can actually use it up if you wanted to the thing that I hit goal on then is this this is the sugar crush soap and glory body buttercream and this is brand new when I went into the project and it is now done so this originally weighed I think it was around 60 grams I will double check on my video and if I have recorded the weight I will put the original weight. So this one is now complete. I also had the Soap and Glory Clean On Me body wash which was brand new when it came into this project and it was like up here where the cap is. So I didn't mark it up here because otherwise it'd just be me drawing a circle around there. You can kind of see the window where there's no product. That's where it started. And we are now at this line here which if I keep doing the same I'm probably not going to finish this for some reason every single car that has ever driven ever has decided to drive past me even though up until this point no cars had gone past. Yeah so if I keep doing the same amount of progress each time then I'm probably not going to get this done by the finale but it is a huge monster of a thing and I love it so I'm not going to be mad if I don't finish it but it will have something that will be worked on and if I don't finish it then it'll be close to being finished so that means that outside of the project I can focus on it and just put it in my empties and count the value for this year. So that's that one. The next item is this. This is the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Perfume. So we did start at this third line here and we're now down to the fourth line here. You can ignore the other two lines. The reason it has multiple lines is because it was also in my 100 colourful empties. So those lines are just ignored for this project and anything from the bottom two lines onwards is everything that's in this project. I have been consistent with my progress on this and honestly I don't think I can fall any more progress if I don't just start like using it as a rim spray or whatever which I don't want to do just because of how frequently we are leaving the house right now but we will see at the end of the project at least it's progress that I wouldn't normally have and I've gotten value out of something that I loved and was otherwise sitting in my collection turning into alcohol so that's that one I had a nail polish which is almost yellow I don't know if you can see that okay so this is the fancy gloss blueberry mustard thermal and and it changes from a really deep navy through to this kind of weird light blue slash yellow thing we've got going on here um, and actually becomes a really beautiful mustard yellow. This nail polish is incredible. I've used it one time in this project so far and honestly I don't know if we're going to be able to see any progress because where it is. So even though I've used it like three or four times in its lifetime and once in this project we are still just here at the bottom of the neck of the bottle which means that it was probably all the way full like in the neck but yeah there's a lot of polish in here is what I'm trying to say so not sure how we're gonna go with progress on this but if I don't finish it I'm not gonna be mad because I love 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 this polish and just holding it now you can kind of see it turning into that yellow oh it's so cool it's beautiful I got so many compliments when I was wearing this the other day something weird is happening with my camera today I'm not sure what it is but there we go I also have this lip gloss this is the Too Faced High Shine Spark lip gloss in eggnog and this was brand new at the introduction and I don't know if you can see but just around here underneath the cap is kind of like a line of separation of the product I don't know if you can see that that is actually my progress line which is why I've not marked it on the bottle because you wouldn't be able to see that I did weigh it and it weighs exactly the same as it did in the introduction which is 21 grams because of the size of this I don't think that we're ever gonna see much in the way of weight change because 
because it's mostly packaging, but I'll keep weighing it, we'll see. But I'm happy that you can see like the change in the way the product is up against the window as a way of determining where you kind of are. That's that one. I also had the Lime Spirit Team Unicorn Antibacterial Hand Gel, and we did start at this line here, and now we are just by there. I haven't marked this for some reason, probably because I was waiting for it to settle, but that is where we are on that one. So I definitely think that I will be able to get this done by the end of the project because if you look at how much progress we managed to do in one month I really think that we could get this done. So that is that one. Then we had three eyeshadows and two were from the Sparkling Pineapple by Too Faced and it was this one here which there's no pan as of yet and this green one here which you can tell I have been using. It is actually what I have on my eyes today. I love this eyeshadow. It's just stunning. So there was a third eyeshadow and it was from the Clover palette by Too Faced and it was this shade here in Best Friends and I've not used this yet just because the weather changed and it's sunny and hot again and it's been making me trying to get that final stretch out of items that were summer related and this is definitely more of a fall eyeshadow it's really quite deep and grungy and there's a fly so that is that one and the last item was this this is the Revolution Fast Base Foundation in the shade F3 and I did mark this the other day but then I used it again today to do my makeup. I don't know if there's any further progress on the mark but we shall see. Not really. Okay that is where we are now. So good progress between the introduction and when I measured it the other day and hopefully we will do the same again next time and get this one done by the end of the project as well. Now that's all my items. And because I finished a product, I thought about rolling something in. And then I thought, I don't know, some people are doing this rolling. The intention of this project was not necessarily to have it rolling because it's such a short project. By the time you roll something in, it would have to be something that you can actually get progress on within like one or two updates. So I was thinking about, do I have anything like that in my collection that I could roll something in to match what some other people are doing in the project? And I did come up with something and it was this. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C3 and this is my favourite, all-time favourite concealer and I have already taken the stopper out. So what you see there is literally all I have left. And I think that this particular item does fit the bill. It is something that I love and it's close enough to being done that I could get it done within one, maybe two updates. So I'm rolling this in. So I'm going to keep with 10 items. I say 10. So in my last video, I, I must've been confused. I, I don't know what was happening because I thought that I had nine items. I was sure I had nine items. And then I missed one off and I couldn't work out how I'd managed to miss one. And I don't, if you were on the ball and you were counting, then you probably realized before I did, this is, there's actually 10 items and the reason I forgot one was because I counted nine and then went wait this item is also in here because it was the 10th item not the ninth item anyway I'm now resolved and I have all 10 items and I've showed you all 10 items so I'm going to leave this update here please do let me know if you're going to join in on the project I'd really love to hear from you if you are and then I can follow you along with your channel I can follow along with your Instagram if you have a blog post I can follow along with that whatever you want to do it as I will follow you and I will support you and we will do this journey together there are two more remaining videos to come one is the October update and the last one will be the finale in November so you have a couple of months to get progress on some items if you do want to join in thank you to everyone who is already doing this project with me I'm probably going to say that in every single video but I really do appreciate you if you have not been to the playlist yet or not been to the master list yet please Please do. I feel like every single person in this project is worth a follow or to go to their channel or to watch their videos or to support them as well. Even though there's so many of them, I do recommend that you take the time and go and visit every single one of these people's channels because they're just amazing, amazing, amazing people that I feel better for having in my life. Anyway, that's enough cheesy stuff. I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you very soon. Bye.